the weather starts to feel a lot more like spring and summer, the city of Xenia told us it opened its splash pad today. Obviously, this video was taken another time. The splash pad is on Miami Avenue, and it's going to be open until 8 tonight. 8 o'clock tonight? All right, I'll, are you, I'll see you, you later. Are you going to go after you do the weather there, Robert? I think so. I mean, it yeah. seems like really great weather. It's even hot in, enough for it, isn't it? And it will be into this evening. It'll still remain pretty warm. The reason we've been so clear is because we have an area of high pressure pretty much smack right over us. Now, when you watch a weather broadcast, you probably hear about things like areas of low pressure and high pressure. These are what really kind of activate all the weather that we have, whether it's clear skies, which are normally associated with areas of high pressure, or some active weather, usually associated with areas of low pressure. Now, around areas of low pressure, air rotates counterclockwise. Around areas of high pressure, it rotates clockwise. And sometimes they just get in the right position where they kind of lock in place. You can almost think of them like sprockets or cogs or gears or something like that. And when you have them in this setup, like you see off to the side, it looks kind of like a, the Greek Omega. And so a weather term you might hear, kind of like polar vortex or something like that. This one maybe doesn't get as much tread in the media, but is an omega block. An omega block is when you have an area of high pressure just kind of locked and that's what it's happening right now. It's ro locked right over the state of Ohio. And so, again, with areas of high pressure, you have clear skies and sunshine, and that's what we've been seeing. So area of high pressure is directly over the Midwest, and off to the west and east, you see these areas of low pressure. And so, like I mentioned, the air rotates counterclockwise around areas of low pressure, and then clockwise around areas of high pressure. So when you have the jet stream, it kind of looks like an omega, and it's just kind of locked that area of high pressure over us, bringing us the long streak a very nice weather and warm weather holding a lot of that warm air in place. You can see some showers kind of associated with that low pressure and this one over here off Florida, but not over us. We're looking at clear skies, not only in the Midwest, but then down toward the south as well in the Gulf of Mexico. Outside, beautiful blue skies in Xenia with temperatures 84 degrees, pretty warm, warmer than average. Warm Winds are about out of the east-northeast, about 6 miles per hour, so they're fairly light. You can see all of us are in the 80s. Wilmington's the low 80s, but looking at, looks like Salina and Winchester, you're in the mid-80s still, but 86 degrees there. Now, we are a little bit warmer than this time yesterday. Not by a lot, but we have been trending a bit warmer throughout the week, even though we've been in the 80s since Tuesday. And as we move into the weekend, looks like temperatures will actually drop a little bit. We're still going to be in the 80s, though, moving into Saturday. Sunday? 79 for the high. That's still above average. We're typically in the low 70s this time of year, but it does cool off. We are trending a little bit cooler moving into next week, and we're staying dry. This weekend, though, could see a shower. We'll talk about that. Let's take a look at this evening, and then moving into the overnight hours tonight. You can see a few passing clouds, but still pretty sunny moving into Friday afternoon. Here's a look at 1 o'clock. You really don't see much of anything there as far as the rain is concerned, so expect to remain pretty dry Thursday and Friday, and really much of Saturday too. Later Saturday, late Saturday, maybe even the overnight hours, we could see the chance of a late shower or late thunderstorm and perhaps some late passing showers Sunday with a little bit more cloud cover. Temperatures likely not reaching the 80s. And then as we move into Monday and Tuesday, you can see highs return to the 70s. That's much more typical for this time of year. Low temperatures are generally going to be in the mid to upper 50s or low 60s. So we're staying warm in the next few days. The best chance of a shower, likely late Saturday, and that'll be pretty isolated. Not looking at a great chance for severe weather or anything, but we could see a thunderstorm. And then what about the lunar eclipse? Yes, you can look at it. So the answer is false, meaning that it's false that you cannot look at it. They're safe to look at. So check that out in the sky. Hopefully, looks like the skies will be clear to take a look at that lunar eclipse show. What a relief that we can actually look at it. Thank you, Robert. <laughs>